Today's Monday, June 3rd, guys. So, tractor showed up today. Um, I just saw the truck actually leave, so I was a little late. It was like a 45, they said it was like 45 minutes away. They were going up like uh, I-95, I think, northbound. But that's what the track looks like. Looks really cool, really dope. The workers are out here. Oh yeah, y'all got the smoothest rides. <laughs> Some of the smoothest. Adina's here, they're really chill. Uh, I'm gonna get like a picture really quick. The track is insanely huge uh, in person. You can see some of the parts, they look really dope. But I'm gonna get a picture really quick. What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Around the Track. This is where we talk about all the hot new things going on with the coastal community. And today I have some very exciting news as you just saw from the clip. Today is June 3rd, 2024 and King's Dominion has finally gotten its first large pieces of B&M launch track. And I cannot be more happy. So shout out to Mullet Mike. He actually hit me up at literally 2.11 p.m. I checked my phone and he was like, hey, you might want to head to King's Dominion ASAP. Turns out, KD Fanatics, shout out to KD Fanatics 75. They've been doing a great job at covering uh, King's Dominion as, along this little journey as well. They had posted a picture uh, from another guy. It was basically a picture of the uh, track on the truck and it was headed to King's Dominion. I think it was going like I-95 North or something and it was 45 minutes away. So I was like, I'm literally like 20 something minutes from the park. And by the time I got there, I saw the trucks, uh, they were parked and they had already finished unloading. I literally parked the car and started filming immediately. I was like, oh my gosh. It was a pretty surreal moment just seeing the track in person and honestly like how large it was because in person, I know in the pictures, sometimes it looks a little more narrow, but these pieces of track are huge guys. Like you don't understand how many trucks this is gonna take. You also have to remember that this is King's Dominion's real first ground up B&M, not a Dominator from Geauga Lake. That was just a hand-me-down, but it was a great little hand-me-down. They're all supposed to be repainting Dominator just as a heads up. Now these pieces of track that you're seeing, they're actually gonna be for the station. So this is gonna be kind of coming into the station, these pieces. I did get a chance to actually talk with one of the workers from Adina. Um, he was really nice, uh, very cool guy. So tomorrow, pretty much when this video is probably gonna get released because it's probably gonna get released at like one in the morning. Um, I'm literally recording this at freaking 12.02 a.m. right now on June 4th. But yeah, so he did say five more pieces are supposed to be showing up today. So I'm pretty much gonna have to go back down there and get more footage again. Luckily I am close to the park, which is definitely a plus. Um, and it does help me get these updates out to you all as soon as possible but they are about to really start ramping up within these next few weeks here. Uh, I did ask him about the supports. So I didn't get to really ask him about the color or anything. Uh, I tried to ask him when they were gonna show up, but unfortunately, one of the workers was like, hey, you probably shouldn't be telling him that stuff. And he was like, yeah, you're probably right. And they kind of just ended the conversation there, but they were really cool people. So shout out to Dina Crew, really cool guys. I do have some clips that I actually am gonna have just the audio playing and I won't be really narrating over that. I'll just let you all kind of look. And there was a lot going on. There was a lot of action actually going on at the construction site when I went into the park. I thought there were a lot of footers already, but when I tell you, I came back today and I was like, whoa, that's a lot. It is supposed to rain, I think, a lot this week, so it's probably gonna get halted a little bit. Uh, from what I do know is that the pieces of track are supposed to be showing up though, like I said, today, June 4th. I didn't get a chance to ride Reptilian this time, mainly because the ride was down for weather. Even though it didn't rain at all today, uh, there was still some cloud coverage in the area where they were like, okay, we have to shut the rides down. So I wasn't able to ride Reptilian for aerial view, but I did zoom in on my camera this time so you all could see a little bit further back within the construction site. This was the most crew members I've seen so far filming. Uh, they were there was there was a lot of people in different areas just working. I really don't know how they're gonna honestly get the track all the way to the construction site. That's what I'm honestly very curious about. Are they gonna bring trucks and just bring them to the area, or are they really about to bring the whole crane all the way to the construction site from that little parking lot? That's gonna be a lot of work, and honestly, they may even do it when we're not here because I did see where the entrance is. It's like. When you exit out of King's Dominion, there's another way to exit out of King's Dominion, um, and that's where their entrance is. So to get over there, that's a long way just to get to the construction site. So we'll see what they do. Like I said, that's gonna be further down the line. Right now, they're focusing on track footers and just getting the foundation and everything ready for the track and the supports. Tried to get multiple angles, but 
some shots were a little bit blurry, unfortunately, because it was just a little bit, I was moving a little too fast. I did try to slow down in some spots, but I just was moving a little too quick. So I definitely would try to slow down next time and make sure I get a more still shot. Expect two vlogs really soon, one from Dorney Park, the other one from Six Flags Great Adventure. That's coming up. I think that's all I really have to say. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and um, until next time, peace out. So they've actually pushed this area back again, so it's like closer in. And then these, look at this footer right here. This gotta be crazy. This footer is insane, yo. That's a huge footer. Just so you all can get a better look at the track, I wanted to come back over here one time with my tripod so you all can see a better view of it. Some big pieces of track, man. Look at how huge they are. security over there they don't really care <laughs>